everybody, it's Amanda from ScreenPinMama.co.uk This week I'm on sweet treat mode I've got to make tons of them So I've bought these cheap um, sweeties from Alda um, And they are um, knockoffs of um, Milky Ways uh, But you know, you can use any sweet treat And you can adjust the sizes And I'm just going to show you Just really simply how, um, how I've made this And the lovely products that I've used to make it, awesome fun so first of all I've picked beautiful garden no it isn't garden green, it's granny apple green <laughs> which is one of the lovely new stamping up colours and I have cut this to 2 inches by 4 inches so 2 oops, 2 by 4 Okay, and then I've selected some of this lovely DSP, which I, again, I did a paper share, I haven't got 12 by 12s of everything, but it's the Animal Expedition one. It's great fun, and these treats are for, um, you know, for squirrel, so I'm using um, this one here, which is a cute, like, backgroundy one, and then I've been using, you get some with little small animals on. Um, so I've picked this one and what I've been doing is punching out the animals just with a punch. Really simple, um, really, really easy, easier than fussy cutting and far, far quicker. <laughs> far quicker. So I've got my one inch circle punch and I've selected a little creature. I quite like the little sloth there, look. He's cute. Uh, and so I've just put my one inch circle punch... There you go, oh, I'm in shot, around the sloth and I've, I've punched him out. And then on some of the other sheets, what have I done with it? Where have I just put it? Here we go. On some of the other sheets we've got, where is it? Let me show you what we have. Um, this one, we have the little birds in the background and if you get your one inch circle punch there, you can punch out some of the birds. And it's really, it's just cute, okay? So I've done that, and quite a few of them. Um, and the idea is that it's super fast. And then what I've done is, taking the bird one, on the back of there is some, on the back of some of them is just a print. But obviously I don't want to punch my large shaped animals out, so I'm using this smaller one. And then I've used the one and one eight scalloped circle um, to punch a slightly bigger circle. And then we layer those up. Okay, we're going to layer those up. And then for the paper four on the banner, that wants that's two by four, so we want it to be. Um, three and seven eighths long by one and seven eighths wide, and then we should be able to put those in our banner punch and punch them, and then they should layer up nicely. So I'm putting that all the way in. Let me move this now. Put my two inch piece in all the way and punch and then my DSP layer I'm going to put it slightly smaller so I'm going to hold it so that it's central okay just so that it's even and punch right and then what we also need is a thin strip that should should do it and I've just cut this to, I think, one inch. Not really measured it, no rhyme or reason, as long as it wraps around the chocolate. Okay? Right. So those are those pieces. And then on a piece of scrap, um, white cardstock, I did pre-cut these and I've cut them to three quarters of an inch strip. Um, so that it's kind of half the job's done for me and then using shaded spruce which is a lovely lovely green colour it matches beautiful with this and I'm using the You're the Best stamp which comes from All Things Thanks which is a lovely collection of stamps so this is the only stamping that I'm doing is this here 
that's it the rest of it is just cutting and punching and putting together super simple get yourself in a you know production line um, so I'm going to stamp that on there like so okay not terribly straight but it's a kid's sweet treat it, it, you know the wrapping will go in the bin but it's just it's just nice and it's fun so then I will just trim that off don't terribly matter if it's straight or not and then I want a scrap piece of this which is shaded spruce which matches the ink Can't anybody say they don't have time to make, you know, fun little treats because these take no time at all. Minimal supplies, you know, bits and bobs. Um, cut all your sentiments, stamp them all, cut them all out, have them in a pile ready. Then punch out all of your bases. And, you know, this is a very basic, quick and easy, anybody can do it. Great for your craft fairs, as I said, these are, I'll be going to school, I'm doing billions of the things. I'm sick of making sweet treats. <laughs> but, um, where's my sample? You know, you could do these for your craft fairs and give them away. It's a great way of giving people samples of the paper that you're selling or highlighting the stamps and showing the DSP. Um, you know, it's a great way of, of just showing samples as well, as well as gifting. Um, that's my the theory behind my madness. Okay, I'm just cutting this by hand, uh, and I'm cutting it as, as quite a small increment. I don't want a big fat chunky sentiment. So now we can put it all together. Um, so firstly, I'm running out of glow. Ugh, come on, ain't that time to be running out of glow? We've got another 10,000 10, of these to do. <laughs> oh dear me. Let me get rid of that bit of glow. Layer that up. And you've got that cute frog there. It's lovely paper, is this, um, from the Animal Expedition um, DSP. They're all gorgeous. And then because I've cut those banners right, you've got the same increment all the way around on the DSP as you have on your cardstock. Okay, so then we're going to get our DSP and I'm going to use my Tata, if I can find it, under the pile uh, that is my desk. Tata up on one end, peel it off. Come on, you slippery little sucker. Okay, just lift that round. Start at the back of the tree and work your way around just literally doing it just by eye just trim it off a bit so it's a little bit long okay bit of tear tape on am I in shot? bit of tear tape on the other end the light's shocking today I don't know why it's so gloomy is that a shade in there? <laughs> It's like when you're in garden and somebody's laid next to you and you're like, move your shading me. Uh, my punch was shading my work. The sun's, uh, it's still warm here in the UK, but the sun's very much gone on its holidays. Um, I'm hoping it comes back for a lovely weekend. Right, so that's just wrapped that around there and that just makes it easier for you to attach that to there. Okay. Because, you know, we don't want to be stapling stuff or hot glowing stuff or out like that or all, you know it is food okay so let's get that and the, I like using my red line tape because it's just that bit stronger get that off of there okay and now that sticks put it central there on there like so and then we can just attach our little sentiment just using glue I'm probably going to end up in the bin so I'm not wasting all my dimensionals and everything <laughs> I'm a bit tight that way but you don't need to, it's just a bit of fun okay, now I'll layer up my sloth I love him, his ace 
my little circle there we go and as you can see it's not even taken me very long and if you do it in like I say factory mode where you do batches where you do all the sentiments then do all the circles and then put them all together at the end it saves even more time I do believe I'm going to stick him on there like so and we're good to go we're done there we go absolutely cute as buttons great sweet treats for the kiddies I'll just, let me just zoom in so you can see no in <laughs> oh dear me cute sweet treats give it a try great for your craft fairs giveaways customers whatever you like thanks for watching bye